How's it going today guys? Catch Release Fishing. I'm out here at a little public lake in central, southeast central Ohio. Today I want to go after a largemouth bass. Hopefully get into a topwater bite here. It's still kind of early in the morning so hopefully we can get a couple on there for you guys to enjoy. Hopefully get some good blow ups. But out here at this lake going to go after some bass. I'm going to be throwing some topwater lures. Probably later on transition to jigs and some jerk baits and fishies weed lines because this lake's full of weeds. But um, stay tuned for the action, guys. Let's go see if we can't catch some monster fish. Let's go! Wowee. There's tons of fish down there. Looks like we're going to go fish the spillway for a minute. See what's going on down here. See tons of bluegill. A couple of bass maybe. We'll throw the chatterbait first. Let's see if there's any aggressive bass in here. It's tons of forage. Oh, here comes one. What? Are you kidding me? Hello, Ducky. You gonna scare all my fish, huh? I ain't gonna hurt you. Alrighty, we're gonna change things up because as you can tell, I brought shame and embarrassment to the bass fishing community by missing that fish because my knot wasn't tied correctly. So, I don't deserve to catch a largemouth bass today. So, we're gonna go after a different species. I got some corn at the store, some whole kernel sweet corn. I see some carp in here. Light gear, carp fishing is a blast. If you don't like it, we can't be friends. But we're gonna go down here and try to catch some carp. Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna use my uh, seven foot medium action. No weight, completely weightless. A little, um, what is this, a size eight? Eight octopus hook? Let me check, yeah. No, that's. This is a size two octopus hook. <laughs> Spillway sharks, let's get it. All right, I'm creeping around. I see some carp right here on this bank, right on this moss line. They have really good eyesight, so you have to be super stealthy and quiet. Oh, well, you gotta be able to cast too. There we go. Oh, man, what the? I ain't trying to catch no shrew gills. It's a nice size bluegill though. Gotta go get more, some, some more corn. Gotta do the sneaking on them. I've seen some lips poking out of the water over here. Let's see if we can dangle some green giant in front of it. and see that but their lips are right at the surface of the water oh no oh hooked up I think we got one <laughs> oh lord oh. <laughs> there we go on the sweet sweet corn this is why I love these guys, they fight so good. Come here, buddy. Get tangled up in all the moss. It's a nice carp too. Really nice. Oh. Just a weightless little hook with a couple pieces of corn on it. You guys can slay carp, man. Simple, simple. Corn only cost me a dollar. Got at the Dollar General. Let's 
see if we can get this hook out and lay this guy here. What's up, buddy? Like that corn, don't you? A sweet corn. Oh, come here. I'm gonna lip you. Oh, you got me wet. Mm, that water tastes great. Oh, that hook was going nowhere. There we go. Oh. Two and a half, three pounder. There you go, buddy. Let's go. That was a blast. Alrighty, I think the hole's cooled down long enough. Dip some corn down there. Oh, hooked up. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. <laughs> now he does. Oh, nice. Come on, buddy. Line peel in action. It's another nice one. There's a lot bigger in here. I've seen a couple big ones in here that are probably over 25 inches. Come here, buddy. brings back so many memories i used to love doing this i still love doing this but i used to do this a lot when i was a kid in the feeder creeks and stuff just grab a can of corn and a bear hook put a couple pieces of corn on there it's deadly the key is being weightless i don't think this is the same guy we just caught now this one's a little thicker i'm just gonna leave him in the water and get my pliers there we go hooks out show it to you guys how beautiful look how red his fins are not gorgeous that's an awesome fight there you go buddy let's go number two within 20 minutes hooked up again they're just stacked oh what's this different species Did we just catch a, we just caught a catfish what heck yeah a little channel kitten what's up buddy down there hanging out with the carp huh going back check that out guys nice little channel cat right there on corn <laughs> catches everything here you go buddy all right i'm seeing a lot of carp <laughs> that dragonfly just try to eat the corn i see i'm seeing a lot of carp travel back and forth between uh the deeper section over here and the shallow mossy stuff to the right someone cast right here in the travel corridor see if you can't pick one off coming through Chummed out a little corn. And I think I got a feeding frenzy going over here. About to find out. Oh, hooked up. Oh my God, that took 20 seconds. Oh, this is a nice one too. <laughs> I just took a little handful of corn, chummed the spot. Within, I don't know, 20 seconds, got a hit. Exactly 20 seconds, because I just started recording. Oh, it's a nice one. It's the biggest one so far. Drag peeler. Nice, nice carp right here.
Oh yeah. We'll see if I can land him to the left of me. I want to do something nice and fun with the kids. Simple. Go carp fishing, folks. Highly recommend it. Awesome tug. I'm gonna see if I can get him up in these rocks and land him in the spillway. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one so far. Come here, bub. I forgot my pliers in the other spot. Dang it. Chillax. Hooks out. Oh, come here. I'm gonna show you off. Then you can go. There we go. Awesome little spillway carp. Check that out. There you go, buddy. Awesome fight. Awesome fight. Let's go. I just chummed this spot and I think I got every carp in the little spillway over here. Oh. Hooked up again. Oh, what the heck? There's a little channel cat again. Come here, buddy. Instantaneous. Channel kitten. These are clean, too. There we go. Little spillway channels. Uh oh, might have to take... Oh, there we go. Hooked up. <laughs> oh, he's coming at us. We're gonna have to land him in the spillway again. I could probably land him up here. These guys are super thick. Talk about putting your gear to the test. You want to put your gear to the test. Go catch some three, four, five pound carp. Let's see if I can get him up here. Oh. oh he's a little guy. Never heard a carp talking to me before. Here we go. It's a little guy. Beautiful colors. There you go, bub. Back down to the corn pile. Oh, hooked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. He's trying to get me in the rocks. Almost took the paw out of my hands. This is the biggest one of the day right here. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah. It's a nice one. Try to get him up here in the spillway. Here, buddy. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, 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 Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, there he goes. It's a good release. I'm going the wrong way, bub. He's about to scare the duck. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I put the corn on. I just put uh, about three or four kernels. Just like that. Do one more probably. I put them to about the shank of the hook right here. That's where you got your barb and stuff exposed like, just like that. So when they pick it up, you can hook them. You don't want to put too much corn on there because that can... Uh, See, if I put another piece, it would cover up the barb and you wouldn't get a good hook set. Oh my gosh. 
Look who we have down there bait stealing. Little musk turtle. He'll bite you too. Look at that. Come here, buddy. Don't bite me. You like corn too? Everything does. Here you go. Cool dragonfly. Isn't that awesome? Something's taking it. What in the world? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> this is a bigger channel cat. Come here, buddy. I just seen him slurp it off the bottom. <laughs> Biggest channel cat of the day. Come here. Get out of those rocks. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Chillax. Check that out. That's a decent little channel. There you go, buddy. Hooked up. Ooh, this is the big one. One of the big ones. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's up, buddy? He's not even fighting as hard as the small ones were. He's getting a little feisty. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the biggest one of the day for sure. Heck yeah. Come over here, buddy. Relax. I'll let you go in a second. Oh. <laughs> Looks way down there. Need the pliers. He ate that pretty good. There he goes. Got the hook out. Perfect. All right, we've caught about, I don't know, seven or eight carp and like four channel cats today on corn. One dollar purchase. See if we can't get one more before we get out of here for the day. It's getting hot. Getting yeah, bit. Look at that. Little baby channel kitten. Little baby baby. Here, buddy. These ones will the one. These are the ones that'll get those spines in you so quick because they're nice and pointy. There he is. Oh, you guys are talking today. There you go, buddy. Bye, George. George. I'll see you later, buddy. All righty, I'm gonna call it today here down at the spillway. Had an awesome time. Started out as a bass fishing mission, like you guys seen, but I embarrassed myself and cried a little bit and decided to re-strategize. Came down here with some corn, went to the store, bought, spent $1 on some, uh, green giant sweet whole kernel corn remember to use whole kernel don't get don't get the other stuff because it's garbage use the sweet whole kernel corn it was a blast if you want to get into recreational fishing i highly recommend finding spillways most of the time they're easy access there's tons of fish loaded in in a small area small body of water like this so they're concentrated high percentage chance of catching fish 
and all you need is some hooks and some corn. That's all you need. It's, it's about as simple as you can get, but it's fun. It's a blast, especially during these hot summer days when bass aren't biting, other fish aren't biting the crop. You're way down deep. You can't really reach them from the bank. You need to get out in a boat and stuff like that. But you got your spillways, bank access, you got carp, channel cats. If they're in, if those species are in your lake, they're probably going to be in your spillway. So find your spillways, grab some friends, grab your kids, bring them down to the spillway and have a blast, guys. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. If you like the video today, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also down in the comments, tell me, do you like me? Do you like seeing the spillway stuff? Because I got tons of spillways I could do and probably catch a lot of fish. We might be doing that this summer. So if you like that, comment down below that you want to see some spillway action and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go. Yeah.